A lot of people have asked me to get involved in the anti-natalist debate, um, and I've been hesitant to do so, um, and I still have no intention of doing so. But I will say this, I will make an observation on it, my own personal observation, and um, I don't think I'm the only one who thinks this way, is that the anti-natalist philosophy is an intellectual justification for the idea that people suffering from clinical depression are seeing reality for what it actually is. Now I know what clinical depression is. It's been 20 years since I had to actually deal with it, but anyone who has suffered from that understands that it is pretty much the worst thing in the world. Your um, a view of the world is skewed to such an extent that you're quite convinced that the world is a horrible place. You're the only one who sees that, and anyone who believes otherwise is just stupid. It's a form of complete and utter insanity that is terribly and almost mind-bogglingly, horrifically effective in masquerading as extreme mental clarity. It's insanity in the guise of a higher form of sanity. Um, and again, I don't think I'm the first person to have made this link, and perhaps I'm wrong here. I'm not trying to tell anyone who is an antinatalist that all that they are are uh, <laughs> depressive personalities. But I can see how the depressive personality might latch on to antinatalism to somehow make sense of the horrific funk, the horrific depression that, that you're dealing with. Um, they might latch on to that as a way of making sense of it. I'll only tell anyone who may be in that position, don't do it. Antinatalism is not for the depressive personality. It is the worst possible philosophy to get into if you are suffering from depression. Um, it's going to make it worse. I understand the attraction of depressive philosophy to the person suffering from depression because you're trying to make sense of how you feel and the depressive personality doesn't hear voices they don't um, believe that they're a small village in Lincolnshire they don't um, have the usual delusions that we normally associate with insanity but depression is insanity nonetheless. The world, if you ask me, is about 50% good and 50% evil. 50% suffering, 50% non-suffering, 50% joy. The depressive has decided that the universe is nothing but suffering. This, I'm afraid, is simply not the case. Um, I don't blame anyone for wanting to deal with the horrible, horrible, mind-blowingly destructive tempest that is depression. But that's not the way to deal with it. Whatever you may think, antinatalism for the depressive personality is like trying to cure alcoholism with whiskey. Thank you.